Greetings there, my beloved Frijoles. Uh, it is just about time for another stream I found. And uh, if you're looking forward to that, then hello. It's good to have you here. I am the Moogle Squirrel that speaks to you from beyond time and space because I tried to go get some water in the kitchen and got really lost. I am Ziza for Q Squirrel Mornington and I will be your host. As we explore this, this strange little indie game that I've found. It is, yes it is indeed, basically a uh, hyper highlight. I, I was kind of getting to that. It is Ringlorn Saga. It's in the stream title and we're going to uh, be playing that. Just gotten uh, all my posts together. And we have some time to kill. It is uh, nice to have a little bit of music in the pre no section. I appear to have messed up the chat box. That's great. Nice. Can I fix it? No, no, not that. Can I fix the chat box before it's... Okay, well, I've made it chunkier. Yeah, there we go. I think that's that's fixed. Uh, we will, we will see if I broke it on the other screen, actually. I may have to do some readjustment. It's not like... We've ever had a stream that has gone 100% smoothly. If you're not throwing some kind of errors, or if you're not, uh... If you're not lost in some sort of musical issue, or a sound issue, or chat issue, it's not a real stream. But yes, I'm glad that the, uh, the Falcom music is working. We can now foul some combs while we wait to ring some lorns. And Ringlorn Saga is a game that I have been eyeing since, uh, it looks like I picked it up around Christmas. And since then, it has gone on to be this particular indie devs, uh, I think it's their strongest game. Apparently, they, they announced a sequel to it almost immediately. Like, people seem to have really taken to it. So that's good. Tells me that I'm probably not going to hate it. I don't think I would have hated it anyway, though. It seems directly up my alley. It seems like the sort of game that uh, I've been wanting to play, basically. And... I can tell you that uh, I thought about not playing it for a while because it was so esoteric looking. But then I thought, well, A, I've already played, um, I already played, uh, Tale of the Sun. Uh, it goes for a different... Like, how do I put it? There's a bonus dungeon in this game that uses slightly different mechanics than the main game. And they decided to take the bonus dungeon stuff and expand it out into a, into a second game. A spin-off game. As well as developing, like, a new engine to go with it. So that's what they're doing with that. Uh, I will probably show a link to the game itself. Google Play will download the update soon. Thanks. Thanks for telling me like 20 seconds before my screen, guys. Anyway, uh... It's a slightly different 
style of play mechanic, and I will probably bring up the, uh, the play page and show it off, or the, uh, the, the page for the sequel and show it off. But as soon as I get Twitch back on my phone... Thank you. Alright, now we can swap over. And perhaps, uh, enjoy the game itself. In a moment. When I... Yes, stream manager mode, please. Thank you. Alright. Irritations and minor bothers. At least we got a little more music out of it. So, let me just swap over here. Ring Lorn Saga. Uh, bring the chat box back down. Oh, wait. I don't need to be covered. Oops. Uh, <laughs> I've been chosen to serve on the game grid. Alright, let's launch this. So, Ring Lorn Saga. It has that old game aesthetic. Helped by the uh, CRT filter. I'm gonna nudge music volume down just a bit. I'm gonna nudge the sound effects volume down just a bit. I hope you guys can still hear it. And, uh... Game is clear and so am I. Good. Good morning, Marius. Good morning, Fiona. It's your 16th birthday. Please accept my humble congratulations. <laughs> Way to go. You didn't die. Nice work. Thank you. Please tell me a story about my father's adventures. Your Grace, I've told you this story since you were a little child. Do you really want to hear it again? I do, but I want to hear everything. I want to learn what really happened. Fair enough. Him. A long time ago, Lord Wilhelm the Fair ruled over this land with his two sons, Hector the Wise and Gerhard the Brave. Their lives were quiet, nowhere near the epic tales of the heroic deeds of the past. But one day, a magical barrier appeared in the neighboring land which belonged to their old friend. Concerned about his fate, Lord Wilhelm marched towards the barrier with his men. This barrier, it's meant to trap people inside. The only way to dispel it is to find the caster and kill him. Radu, did something happen to you? Father! Let me join you. This is too dangerous, Gerhard. Neither you nor Hector are ready for this. Crossing this barrier means you're not coming out unless you kill the caster or gain his blessing. If I don't come back in a month, Hector will take the throne. Be sure to watch his back. Do not follow me under any circumstances. And thus the brothers waited for Lord Wilhelm's return. Days turned into weeks and eventually the month ended. Fearing for his father's fate, Gerhard went to search for him. Wait! You want me to come with you? You're the heir to the throne, Hector. If we both die, it's all over for our family. But I need to find out what happened, and I'm not going to let you or our men risk your lives. I understand, but I sense powerful magic head. Be careful, brother. Who are you? Well, we can see from the name under his text box that this is Gregos. Yeah! Is it over for me? I can't die here. Not like this. Gerhard wasn't ready to die, and he used his willpower to crawl forward looking for help. But he didn't get far and lost consciousness after a while. When he opened his eyes, he found himself in a comfy bed in an unfamiliar place. And thus his adventures began. Now this reminds me of nothing so much as Gothic, the uh, old Piranha Bytes RPG. 
you know, a magical barrier, there's... Well, inside the magical barrier and that, there's a prison camp, but, you know. Um, yeah, controls, cool. I, um, okay, there we go. For some reason, it wouldn't change until I push the, uh, until I push the space bar on the PC, on the PC instead of using the controller. So, as you can see, we've got three attack types. Bash, Slash, and Stab. And we have an attack mode and a defense mode, which swaps our strength and defense stats. Prince Gerhard, you should stay in bed. Where am I? How do you know who I am? You're in the Delana village, to the east of your land. Lord Wilhelm stayed here for the night and told us about you and your brother. Luca saw a bright flash from afar and found you laying on the ground. He brought you here and I tended to your wounds. Thank you for patching me up. Is my father here? No, he only stayed here for the night about a month ago. You know where he went? I don't know, but I'm sure you'll learn something if you ask around the village. Thanks. Gerhard noticed his pouch is missing. Where is my pouch? I don't know. No one would dare touch your belongings, Prince Gerhard. Please talk to the guard. He may know more. All right. Thanks for your help. Can you tell me your name? I'm Adelaide, a nurse in this humble village. It's an honor to meet you, Your Grace. Pleasure is all mine. Sorry, I have to go. You're still weak, Your Grace. You should rest until you regain your strength. I can't. Sorry, Adelaide. All right, come back if you get hurt. I'll take care of your wounds. Thanks. So how we go into the village? Prince Gerhard, honor to meet you. I assume you're the one who brought me to this village. Except my gratitude, you've saved my life. Please sleep here until you reach level 20. I wish it weren't like that. I'd be level infinity. Don't worry about it. Are you looking for your father? Yes. He stayed here for the night with his men, then left in the morning. No one has seen him since, but the village chief may know more. Thank you. Lily, anyway, do you know what happened to my pouch? I don't know. I found you in the mountains to the east from here. Brought you to Adelaide's house. Maybe you've dropped it while I carried you here. Thanks. So let's go on out and look for our pouch. And in the meantime, we can become introduced to the combat in this game. Uh, you really don't want to fight things head on, is the thing. You always want to hit something from the side. And you'll notice that our power uh, recharges rapidly after we take a swing. The basic loop of the game is learning what hurts these monsters the most. Is it being stabbed? Is it being bashed? Or is it being slashed? And then you do that until they die. That's it, that's the game. Um. So I was considering not playing this because it might be too esoteric and kind of boring for people. And then I decided I don't care. Uh, it always helps to move around in defense mode until you're actively trying to kill something. The music loop is longer than highlight? Well, that's not hard. I tend to prefer to step away and let my, uh, power recharge between attacks. You do not have to. Also, you'll notice that you might get better spawns if you duck in and out. I think bashing definitely works best on spiders. I'm not sure about bats. Ow. Maybe slashing. Well, there's a building that we can't get to yet, but I was hoping to find a way to cross the, uh, cross the waters, and I don't see any way to cross this river from here. Uh... 
Uh, maybe we'll try to the north. Whoop. It kind of helps to go around enemies for the most part, but you'll never get any levels if you do that, so. Yeah, I'm gonna see if I can go north and go around that way. Huh. There's a statue. But no, I can't seem to cross this river. There will doubtless be, like, one route across the river. Somewhere in the world. Uh, I found a cave. It's pitch black down there. Going in without a lantern would be foolish. That is a, probably a valid point. Let's go see if we can get a lantern from somewhere. We have a little bit of... Oh no, we don't have any money. Because we don't have a money pouch. Therefore, getting a money pouch... Is probably absolutely essential. So we should just keep going with what we're doing. Uh, Slash? Yeah, I think Slash. Slash seems to really do it in for bats. We are not really getting that much experience from bats, though. Interesting. It looks like something is buried here. I'll need a shovel to dig it up. Well, good to know. But nope, we can't get anywhere from here. So most of what I'm doing is following the river. I just want a bridge, my dude. Oh wait, he said the mountains to the east, didn't he? Oh, that's... where we are now. Okay. I was trying to head west. I don't know why I was going west. Thirty gold acquired. We're rich! Sorta. Strong enough to one shot a bat anyway. That's something. That type of slime responds well to being stabbed. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna retire any day soon. Statue of the Zephyr, Spirit of Wind. It's said that whirlwinds appear whenever he's in a bad mood. Let's not piss him off then. And then there's a red slime. I don't know what that does. Bats are now weak enough that they're worth killing just for the heck of it. Like, going out of our way to kill. Even if they don't give that much experience. Now we go up and over. Whoops. Alright, back to town. Ow. Uh, you can see that we getting hit in attack mode hit hurts hard. Wait, where was town again? It was... Up this way. I think. Yeah, well, we can't one-hit kill everything, but we can one-hit kill the bats. And that's helpful. Here it is. Alright, now that we've got a money pouch... Put that thing away. Oh, sorry. People don't want to talk to you if you're in attack mode. If you walk up to somebody and you shove a sword in their face, they're gonna be like, Hey, what's wrong with you, man? Haven't seen the graveyard keeper in a while. Wonder if he's alright. Alright. There's a second place we should probably check out. Let's check some houses. See uh, what the locals have to say. Hi, please make yourself at home. Thank you. Being a guard's wife is stressful. You never know what's going to happen. My husband got hurt by a fiend a while ago. I feared he wouldn't make it. 
remember waking up and seeing my shadow staring in the window from outside. Never been so scared in my whole life. Okay, well. A lot going on in this town. Come back if you get hurt. I'll take care of your wounds. Uh, it looks like my life has recharged. Which is nice. So. Whoops. Don't go back in. Here's a tavern. You must be Prince Gerhard. It's an honor to meet you. Likewise, have you seen my father? Oh, yes. His... Your, his grace and his men stayed in this village for the night. We shared stories over drinks and they left at dawn. Do you know where they went? I believe he left for the Blackwell Tower. Thanks for your help. Come by if you want to hear a story or two. Otherwise, I'll drink myself to death in this hole. Wow, no pressure. Welcome to my bar, Prince Gerhard. I hope you'll enjoy your time here. Thank you. Here, try some of this. This fat bum is like a brother to me, but sometimes I want to kick him out. But then I'd lose my clients, which is worse than tolerating his antics. I'm just going to leave you two to deal with that. Not a lot of happy stories in this town. Hi! Do you like our village? The weather is so good, I can't help but go out for a stroll. Alright, maybe she's having a happy story. Ah, here's a store. I can't talk to him over the counter. So, ah, new customer. Welcome to my shop. Been a while since I saw new faces around here. Nice shop you got here. What do you got? Tell you the truth, I don't have much right now, but I'll see what I can offer you next time you drop by. If you don't have any items, you don't, but if you have any items you don't need, sell them to me. Thanks. Do they sell ease? I have no idea what you're talking about. Ah, uh, there's the save point. Here's the controls. I don't really have an inventory, as far as I can tell. Welcome to Downa Village, Prince Gerhard. I'm Daniel, the village chief. Nice to meet you. Adelaide saw, told me my father had stayed here for the night. Lord Wilhelm, that's right. But we haven't seen him since he left the village with his men. Do you know where he went? I heard them talking about the Blackwell Tower. Where is it? To the north of here, in the mountains across the river. Thank you. If you're going to go there, make sure you're prepared. The magicians keep themselves most of the time, but they don't like strangers walking into their tower. Something happened to your father. We don't want the same thing to happen to you. Do you have a spare shovel? No, but I think the graveyard keeper has one he can spare. Okay, uh, the Blackwell Tower House is a very secretive group of mages. More like a cult. What are they doing over there? I have no idea. Sometimes you can see the lights from here, but no one dares investigate. They don't take kindly to strangers, but your father was adamant about meeting them. Alright, well. Graveyard Keeper, huh? It sounds like wherever this graveyard is, that's our next, uh, stop. <clears throat> the fiends here are fierce. Stay on your guard at all times. Yeah, but if I'm in guard mode, I do a lot less damage. Now, we get stories from the bards, not from the stores. So I guess next we have to figure out where the graveyard is. Um, could be down here. Yeah, this looks like the graveyard, all right. Um, okay. These aren't so bad. Might as well get the, get the experience.
More bats. I do not see a graveyard keeper. Whoop. I walk into that attack. That's my own fault. With slimes it's hard because you can't tell which way they're facing. Slimes do not have faces. Maybe that's why Dragon Quest put faces on their slime. Whoops, ow. Ow. Oh my. That was in defense mode. I got blasted. Who are you? What are you doing here? Don't be afraid. My name is Gerhard. I'm looking for my father. Unless he got buried here. I haven't seen anyone. Can't you see monsters roaming outside? Now, if you have any business with me, I'll hear you out. If not, leave me alone. Do you want to buy a shovel? I have a spare one in good condition. I owe some money to the guard of the village and I'm broke. Can you help me out? How much do you need? Just 20 coins. Yeah, we can cover that. Thanks a lot. Here's the shovel. Thanks for your help. I like being alone, but sometimes I need a drink and company. Avoid the eastern path at all costs. You'll get yourself killed if you don't. Yeah? Uh, you may notice that if we stand still, much like ease, we begin regenerating health very slowly. Let's go ahead and fill up before we leave. Is it just in defense mode or is it in attack mode too? Looks like it's much slower in attack mode. Alright. The eastern path, huh? Even when I'm wandering around? Huh. Yeah, I should really be in attack mode to fight the bats. Uh, red slimes are stab, I think. And that's a level! It's all about changing modes and... Oh, yeah, those look, uh, dangerous, actually. Let's not fight them. Let's go. Hmm. You can see that I'm starting to get stronger even in defense mode. Like... Not as strong as in attack mode, but my attack is not pathetic anymore. That's the power of leveling, baby. So I want to take this uh, shovel out for a spin. And I remember we saw something buried. Uh, yike. Wait, is that a person? That's a person. Um. Can I get to them? So cold, so cold. What are you doing here? This place is dangerous. Let's get you out of here. Gerhard attempted to grab the woman's hand, but his hand went right through her. Can't be. I must tell Nihai that I'm finally free. We don't have to hide anymore. Tell Nihai I'm finally free. Who is he? Where can I find him? So cold. This is strange, but I should ask around. Uh, all right. Let's go back to the Gravekeeper and uh, see if he knows who Mihai is.
I don't think she's a zombie. I think she's a ghost. Uh, zombies are notably less talkative than ghosts. Alright, let's see if we can ask. I don't want any trouble. Go away. Nope, he does not want any trouble and we should go away. That's a shame. I want some trouble and I don't want to go away. But I guess you can only do what you can do. Ow. Alright, let's uh, recharge a little... Maybe we should recharge a little bit. Even when I'm walking... Yeah. Yeah, it is even when I'm walking around. That's good to know. I got, like, Halo regenerating health. Your heart, Halo. Let's, uh... Make our way back to the village. I'll make our way back towards the village anyway. I remember seeing something buried. And we're gonna find it. Uh, no, I think we go this way. Yeah, there's the village there. Okay, um... I guess we don't even need to stop by and heal. You could hurt someone with that thing. Please hide it. Alright. Your Grace, you're bleeding! Take off your armor and lie down in bed. I'll take care of your wounds. They're all healed. Please be careful. All right, then. Anyway, we now have a shovel. And while I was looking around near the river area, I believe it was, we found something allegedly buried. It had to be around, uh... This another town. Door is closed. Oh, zombie. Okay. Let's actually not go in that town just yet. I'm not... Oh, wait. Here it is. I think it's here. It's right over there. That little divot of dirt. Time to dig. Ten gold acquired. Well, this shovel ought to pay for itself in about a week. Uh, no. Patch. Patch. That spider took an un- Oh, I'm in defense mode, that's why. I was like, that took a long time to kill, and... There we go. Alright, so there is another divot of money across that river, if I can ever get across it. Which I don't know that I can. I guess, uh, we ought to go treasure hunting. Because I don't see us having the money to pick up anything useful until we do. Particularly since uh, none of these guys are delivering me much in the way of cash.
I do like the feeling of gradually clearing out its green monsters. And that's a good thank you, because that is the gameplay loop here. Statue of Ignessa, Spirit of Fire. It said whenever she laughs, volcanoes erupt. Keep this woman away from the comedy clubs. Here's something. Time to dig. Five gold. Money making is gonna be a process, folks. It's fine though, we are getting... Did I see that rock move? I world wrapped. I world wrapped? Oh, I did! I'm on the other side of the river. Excellent. Wonderful. Ow. What is this? Uh, zombies and the undead. And there's a unique looking sprite up there. I don't know what it is. Sorcerer. Okay. Hey, you know what I'd like to not do? Die. Let's get out of here. Uh, eventually I will get more confident about fighting the undead. But right now I do not feel a whole lot of confidence about fighting anything that is that looks like it's at a higher challenge level than me. Anyway, we are exploring the world. We are getting to know... I think that's the tower that they kept talking about, and there's something buried outside it. Time to dig. 25 gold. Okay, we're up to 50 gold. There's gotta be something we can get for 50 gold. That seems like a good break point. So, let's check out the, uh, shop in town again. Assuming we can get back to town. Assuming I remember how to get to town. Uh, going in there without a lantern would be foolish. Statue of Blackwell, Spirit of Water. Said whenever he suffers from bad dreams, the maelstroms appear. The, um... The pantheon of this world is a little... troubled. Anyway, it shouldn't be too hard to get back to town. We just sort of loosely retrace our steps, right? Yeah, I like the music in this better than I like the music in Highlight. Uh, here's another little... Rhyme. You guys peaceful? Welcome to the Temple of Morrigan, goddess of witchcraft. I sense potential in you, noble one. You're mistaken, I have no talent for witchcraft. Pay your respects to the five magic spirits, and they might help you reach your true potential. What do I need to do? You'll have to figure it out on your own. Once you're done, come back and pay your respects to Morrigan. If it works, I'll teach you magic. In the meantime, I'll pray for your success. Thank you. That sounds to me like visit the five statues. I wonder if it counts the ones I've already visited. Uh, don't bother me. Okay, sure. Well, if not, let's go. Let's keep track of the statues we visited 
I'll note them down. Hopefully I don't need to visit them in like alphabetical order or anything. Uh, there's starting to be zombies appearing out in the world. That's concerning. You know, Kubo, if you hadn't mentioned that I world wrapped, I wonder how long it would take me to have noticed. A long time, I imagine. All right. Statue of Iris, Spirit of Nature. Said the grass grew from her steps as she walked through the desert. I am just going to copy that down into Notepad. Yep, taking notes. I should pay my respects. Gerhard put a gold coin as an offering. Oh ho! Well, that's what it's for. Well, obviously money is for many things. But in this case... Nice to see, nice to see. I don't have to... Alright. Ow. No, no, no. Well, I'm glad you said it. <laughs> I'm not sure I would have noticed. I wasn't expecting a Sierra-style screen loop. Uh, that I is that Iris? Statue of Ignesia. Spirit of Fire. Volcanoes erupt when she laughs. Pay my respects. Ow. Be hit by a slime. Alright, this is... First time I'm gonna have a minute to duel with a zombie, but... Ooh, bashing works. Alright, bash zombies. Good to know. And then he just falls over and looks at me all creepy. Great. Thanks, zombie. Blunt force trauma. It's what's for dinner. Uh, I went the wrong way. Whoops. I went the wrong way around, I think. I think I go this way. And then south. Now, if I'm going back to the village, it's north. I am sort of going back to the village. Ah, uh, have I paid respects to Iris? Yes, I have. Oh dear. Oh dear. Okay, I, that was potentially deadly. Back to the village, recover, check the shop. Uh, recover. Uh, put my sword away. Lay down in bed. Get healed. Okay, leave. I keep forgetting and strolling up to people with my sword out like, hey... Are you me high? No. Okay. I've got something that might interest you. 
A ring with magical properties. Very expensive, but should be useful to you, no? What kind of magical properties? There's only one way to find out. I'll let you have it for a thousand gold coins. Are you trying to fool me? Don't be ridiculous. I wouldn't dare do such a thing, but I'll let you have it for 350 gold. I know who you are, Prince Gerhard, and you'll need this ring. But I can't let you have it for free, you know? Let me think about it. Interesting. Right, and I gotta ask about Mihai. It's been a long time since I went to the Petal Village. I gotta ask people if they're Mihai. I've never asked people anybody if they're Mihai before. Welcome. Nice place you got here. My father stayed here a while ago with his men. Can you tell me where they went? I have no idea, but they were nice. Way better than my usual customers. Do you have any customers here? This village is pretty small. Mostly those who can't afford to stay in the Petal Village. I assume your father was too tired to travel there. Can't believe I didn't have to spend the entire day cleaning the room to get the stench out. You won't believe how bad it can get here. Thank you for your time. You know what? Feel free to come here whenever you want. I have to watch the place at all times. I barely go outside. Sometimes I spend days without talking to anyone. It's irritating. Ah, alright. How about I let you stay here for free? I could use the company. That won't be necessary. I should go. I'll be waiting. You know, I wish I lived in a big town. I could probably get a lot of customers there. Probably better people than the kind you meet around here. Ugh. I don't have that kind of money. I'll need to marry a rich man first. Hey, are you married? Oh, there's no need to hide it. I can tell you're available. I should go. Wait, how about you stay for dinner? I'm not hungry. Sorry. See you later. Cool. Cool. Very nice. Uh, there's a dig mark out there in Town Square. I need a lantern. What for? Are you planning to go underground? Yeah, it's too dark down there. Well, I think the priest should have one he can spare. Thank you. How do you like our little village? The priest. The priest. We gotta find a priest. Fifty gold acquired. Ooh, double my money. Anyway, we gotta find Mihai. Are you Mihai? No, my name is Marius. I see. Do you know anyone by that name? Sorry, I have trouble remembering names. Ask someone else. Sorry for bothering you. Are you Mihai? No, my name is Gabriel. Want a drink? Thanks, not right now. I lied, but they had space to have more dialogue. They also have a more complex uh, attack system. And, um... Generally, it feels smoother. My father, the priest at the local church, I used to visit him every week. It's too dangerous with all these scenes outside. I'm worried about him. Also, I feel like people are actually telling me things that are useful. Are you Mihai? No, my name is Luca. Why do you ask? I need to talk to him about something. I see, Mihai is a graveyard keeper. Is he in trouble? No, it's not that, but I need to deliver a message to him. But what was him? All right, back to the graveyard. I don't remember how to get back to the graveyard. Well, we'll figure it out. Oh, it's right here. Okay. Also, I feel like, um... There's actual strategy to, like... Maneuvering around the enemies and... Getting your attacks in. And maybe there is in Highlight, too. And I was just never any good at Highlight. Guess what game we're revisiting someday?
I promise you guys I will play like Falcom music or something over a highlight because uh Silver Star is right, the music loop in that game is murdersome. Alright, to the gravekeeper. The music in this game is quite nice, though. Are you Mihai? Yes, why do you ask? A woman is looking for you, said she wants you to know she's finally free. Can't be. It's impossible. What do you mean? Christina disappeared a few years ago while walking through this very graveyard. I know she took the forbidden path. She's dead. There's nothing I can do about it. But it looks like she can't move on to the land of the dead. That's what happens to those who take that path, but what can I do? If you know something, please tell me. I don't want her to suffer. I don't know what to do about it, but if I hear something, I'll let you know. Alright, uh, that counts as a quest in my book. We gotta figure out how to help her move on. And I think it might have something to do with being strong enough to walk the forbidden path. Which means we're gonna need some more levels, I think. Like, we can take out a zombie in close quarters combat if there's nothing else particularly around. I don't have a lot of faith in being able to beat the skeletons or whatever that meteor looking thing is. Uh, particularly not if I get attacked and it near kills me like that. How are the... Well, the skeletons come in different flavors. Uh, that doesn't do much. That also doesn't do much. That does a little. Mmm... I'm not sure I want to... Whoop! Nope, 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 fuck this. I can survive a hit. That's not good enough. Let's go recover. And we'll see about getting to the church. Mm -hmm. Recovery. Thank you. Please be careful. Trust me, I'm being as careful as I can. See if we can find this church. I wonder if it was the place that was infested with undead. I mean... Most of these places are infested with undead. But I wonder if it was the building that was infested with undead. That rock, it counts as an enemy. I don't like that! And I'm not doing much damage to it, so let's move on. Ah, uh, no, this is the dark tunnel I need the, uh... the lantern to get into. That looks like a church. Does that look like a church to you guys? Uh, kind of. Maybe. But it's my only lead! I'm trying to get up there. Uh, and we can't forget, we are on a pilgrimage to touch all these statues. Sorcerers are weak to Slash. Uh, technically, most things are weak to Slash if you can catch them on, like, AO3. But, you know. That. We already dug that up. Uh, alright.
I do feel like we're making progress. Like, we are appreciably stronger than we used to be. What's in here? The church. I'm going to dig up this grave. And gold. Dang, man, you got buried with the riches. Hey. Welcome to the church. You look troubled. Is something on your mind? Do you believe in ghosts? I know they're out there. Spirits of those who died in great pain wander the land, unable to move on. Why do you ask? They're the ghost of a woman wandering the graveyard. Can we do something about her? We can try, as long as she or someone she knows can tell you her name. Do you know her name? Christina. Good. I'll uh, perform a ritual and pray for her. If you know her friends or family, let them know she'll be part of the land of the dead soon. This is their final chance to say their goodbyes. Thank you. Well, cool, but that's... Are you looking for something? Do you have a spare lantern? Are you planning to go into the dungeon? That's right. I have a spare one. Take it. I lost my cross in one of those dungeons. If you find it, you may find it useful. You won't stand a chance against ghosts or vampires without it. What were you doing in the dungeon? I was looking for a way out. That's valid. Alright. Uh, we should go back to the Gravekeeper. And then we should get back on our pilgrimage. I feel like we're making, you know, real tangible progress. In this game. That is more than I can say for ever having played any of the, uh, I Lied games. I never felt like I knew exactly what I was doing or why. And I know that probably I was overlooking something that would have led me to be able to beat it in like 15 minutes. Ah uh, no, that's the tunnel. I don't want to go down there just yet. I was probably overlooking something, but... I just had no idea what I was doing. When I play it on stream, I'll be more careful. I'll have to, uh, actually read the manual, for example. I understand that probably helps. All I know is that the first time I played Highlight for the, uh, for the NES, it was a rental. And I took that game back to the rental store and I told them that there was uh, something wrong with it because it didn't work right. Um, now I know that it was my expectations that didn't work right. But at the time, you know, I thought it was defective. I thought that, you know, it was supposed to be like Zelda, but it was broken. One expectation that, yeah. It was an important lesson to me. Statue of Aaron, spirit of the earth, and shake the ground with his might. And I have noted that down. We have made a pilgrimage here. We have two statues left. So cold, so cold. Alright, that is a wisp, and I... I am visibly not damaging that. That is not getting hurt at all by what I'm doing. So... Anyway, that was a valuable lesson to me in, you know, you have to play the game that's actually there, not the game that, like you've invented in your head. I thought that it was supposed to be The Legend of Zelda, and I was wrong. Highlight is not Zelda. Highlight was, I think, slightly before Zelda, even. And 
I had no respect for that at the time. Now I do. I figured it out. The priest is performing a ritual as we speak. Christina will move on from this world. It's great. It's great to hear. I'm very sorry for you... for making you go through the trouble of helping me. Do you want to talk to her? I want to, but it won't be right. We're not supposed to be able to talk to the departed like this. If you can pass a message to her, tell her to wait for me on the other side. Thank you, young man. You've done a great deed today. Alright, uh, I don't know if I'm gonna get a reward for this, or if this is just... thing you do, but I don't know if I care, cause... this was kind of the right thing to do. I wish I could see which way slimes are facing. It was the right thing to do. Yeah. Ritualistically speaking. Oh, no. This sucks. I'm gonna... Yeah, that's much better. You can move on to the land of the dead. Mihai says he wants you to wait for him on the other side. One day you'll meet each other again. Thank you. Rest in peace, Christina. Alright, um... I'm gonna go check in with the Gravekeeper and see if that got me... Like, a uh, Some benefit, some beneficial reward. Some benefit. Mmm, benefit. Breakfast of Champions. Anyway, I'm gonna go see if that gets me some reward, and then I'm gonna move on and go check out some tunnels. Do I have a save function? No. Nope, no reward. Just, I guess, the comfort of knowing that we did something correct. And nice for people. Ow. And, uh, I'm willing to go with that. I guess we're doing, like, a paladin run. You know, in spite of all the bats we're murdering, because we are murdering, like, entire subspecies of bats. We are just wiping out bats left and right. It is tremendous how many bats we're killing. Welcome to the world's most anti-bat stream. Alright, there's the tunnel. Well, there's the first tunnel that I can see. There are more. Head up here. Check out this dungeon. Got a visibility problem, but we have a, uh... A lamp. But we can see a little bit. I don't know if my brass lantern will go out in any turns. Short sword found. This should come in handy. Short sword equipped. Dagger is placed in the sack. I found a real weapon, you guys. It's about time. Ah. 
I mean, I guess, you know, a dagger is a weapon. Like, if you stab someone with it, they'll go, ow. But a short sword gives you more ow for the stab. Even if you're just bashing somebody with it. We're handling these zombies in a hurry now. Alright. Okay, we gotta go around. There is a statue north of that river. That... We should visit. Oh, now we can kill bats even if we aren't even using the right kind of attack to kill a bat. That's lovely. These spear zombies are kind of rough. Ah! Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Okay. <laughs> Rock was a monster, actually. Good to know. Good to find out all of a sudden. And I saw a tunnel back here. Uh, now is probably a bad time to check on it. Now is probably an even worse time to check on it. Let me just recover my, uh, my hit points a little bit. Before we try walking in there. <sighs> I hope everyone is uh, measured in probabilistic owl for existential radiance, also known as power. True, but we have a PWR that is not the same as our strength. Alright. Alright, let's let's dip in and see what's in here. What do we got in here? Hello? Oh, there's a zombie. Ow. Ow. I died. Alright, let's see what happens when you die. Thanks for your help, young man. Now I can atone for my sins until Mihail joins me in the land of the dead. Until then, I'll be waiting. Oh, good! We, we can go hang out in the land of the dead with this lady. What is this place? Am I dead? This is the passage to the land of the dead. But you're not ready to go. You're still clinging to life. I can send you back to the land of the living at the cost of some of your strength. Do you wish to go back? Yes, please. I, I hope I won't trouble you again. Thank you. At the cost of some of my strength, huh? Oh no, I think it did take a little bit of my experience away. Oh, experience loss on death. Alright. 100 experience? That's not as bad as it could be. Maybe it multiplies as you go. Grace, thank god, I was afraid you wouldn't make it. I beg you to watch yourself. I want to see you alive and well. Thanks for taking care of me, Adelaide. I'm sorry for causing so much trouble. I'll be sure to return your kindness one day. Alright, I am gonna uh, check with the shop to see if I can sell this dagger. I've got something I want to sell. Pay you five points. can't help but feel ripped off and I didn't even pay anything for that dagger. Oh well! Right, this time let's be a little more careful. Or try to be. Alright, I want to visit that statue.
so I'm gonna try and go around. No, not that way. I'm gonna try and go around and across the river. Level up. Yeah, the loss of a little bit of my power doesn't seem to have hindered me, but I sure don't want it to happen too often, you know? But again, enemies are infinite. Cozy, uh, sort of cozy, I guess. A little? Ow. Okay. Uh, magicians can apparently cast spells across the river. That's bad. Is it really that cozy? I don't know if it's that cozy, I'm afraid. There has got to be a way to get to... Oh, I'm on the other side of the river. I think. Oh, time to dig. Tower key found. Oh! I didn't know I needed that. Alright, statue of Zephyr. Spirit of Wind. We have one... We have one god left to visit. Whirlwinds appear when he's in a bad mood. Pay my respects. One gold coin. Now there must be... Uh, nope, I'm on the, uh, wrong side of the river again. Whoops. Sorry, pardon me. Yep, I'm on the wrong side of the river! What does it take to beat a skeleton? Stab? Bash? Bash. You bash skeletons. Of course you do. They are, like, made of bone and stuff. You got a bag of skeleton. That's what does the most damage to a skeleton. Asherine. Alright, uh, let's... See if we can figure out anything about this town. And it's been overrun by zombies and slimes. There we go. Open any of these doors. But there is an open door out here. Hey, man! Who are you? What do you want from me? I'm Gerhard, don't worry. I mean you no harm. Too bad, I was hoping you'd put me out of my misery going on here? The vampires took our women, the foul bees killed our men, and the magicians turned them undead. I'm the only one left alive here. I can escort you to another village. You should be safe there. Ah, I'm not leaving my place. After living my entire life here, do you expect me to run away? 
No one will miss me if I die, and I don't plan on being a burden to anyone else. I see. Leave this place. Live a good life. Forget you ever set foot in this village. This is for your own good, son. I mean it. Well, if you don't care, then I'm just going to take your shit. Heater shield found. Alright. Yeah, I'm just going to walk out with your shit. Bye, man. What a nice old person. Free shield. Uh, I, I think I do more with stab now than I do with bat. Alright, we have one, uh... Nope, this guy still responds best to bash. It's dagger zombies that need stabbing. Alright, um... We still have one... statue left to visit. And then we can return to the magic place, and maybe get magic? Question mark? No, this zombie responds best to Bash too. Interesting. But this one needs stabbing. Maybe it's a case-by-case -case basis. Maybe zombies are all individuals. Anyway, I do hope you enjoy watching for what time there is left. I am just trying to figure my way out back across the river to uh, the last statue. I think I might have to take a tunnel. I believe I might have to take a tunnel, indeed. Yeah. Well, I can take a tunnel. Because I have my, uh, my lantern now. What's in here? Uh, this is the weird magic spot? What's in here? There are a, whoa, there are a lot of undead of types that I haven't seen, which look extremely dangerous. The calming tones of a final survivor being left to die. Here on Squirrelmog Light 108 FM, we kill everybody. Uh, what was a level thing, a time thing, or a screen transition thing? I think it has. Ow. I think it has to do with, uh,. Sometimes the areas are very dangerous, sometimes they're not. Oh, wrong place. And it does seem to have some random seed. Like... You can see that weaker enemies or stronger enemies will spawn... Just from me walking back and forth across a uh, screen transition. It does seem a bit randomized. I think all I can really say is that I have no idea. Uh, let's... Level 8. Okay, I kind of want to, um... 
kind of want to swing down and around. Come back, whoops. Come back up this way. And check out this place. Which I've been walking past rather often. Oh, that's the church again. Right. Cool. Maybe I should tell him that his ritual worked. Like, hey, congratulations, you sent a ghost on. Nice work, man. Join me in my prayers. No, oh, bye. For a 5x5 five five map, there's quite a bit to explore. Yeah, and uh, for a 5x5 five five map, I sure am uh, fucking up finding that last statue a lot. Haha. -ha. Navigationally challenged. Okay, I'm in defense mode. Now I up to attack mode. Let's stab, stab. 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 Whoop. Get attacked. Ugh, everybody cast magic here. I am frozen. Nope. Okay, I'm good. That was a healing spell. Rookie mistake. Because now I know that you're the healer. I can just knock the hell out of you. Never show me that you're the healer. Because I will punch you. As long as I keep heading like down a little bit and over a little bit, I'll eventually find that river, right? No. No, I will not. <sighs> I think I've made some foolish choices. In my life. Wait! I think that's it! Got you a black well, spirit of water. Pay my respects. Yeah, I'm not... I should have probably written that down. Blackwell, Spirit of Water, what does he do? Uh, when he has bad dreams, Nails from Appearance. Okay. I don't know if I need to write that down. I'm gonna write it down anyway. What's down this tunnel? Oh no, it's a green spider! Quick! Hit it exactly the same way as before. <laughs> For I am elite and deadly. And you are pansy pellet swaps. I literally have no idea like what level I'm supposed to be, uh, when I'm supposed to be trying to finish the game. I don't know anything. I am completely ignorant of my situation. So... Maybe I could just go straight to the tower? Cross found. Oh, good. I bet this lets me hurt vampires and stuff. And, like, undead dudes and... You know, those, that stuff I was bouncing off before? 
I mean, you're an undead dude. Are you being hurt more? Yeah. All right, this was one route. There was a second route in the other corner. Uh, yeah, two hit zombie kills is good. It's not universal. Like, I'm definitely not one round in these bastards. Universally. But, oops. Don't walk around in front of him and die. Die less, Prince Gerhard. Live more. Eat at Taco Bell. And what's down here? Um... Templar shield found. Yeah, alright. Now I'm ready to go lay some religious smack down upon ye vampires. Now I have 17 children who are burning from multiple ends. I don't remember asking you to do that. Good luck with it. I absolve myself of all responsibility. There was a door somewhere in here, right? Like, there was a way out, right? Not on this screen, there isn't. Live more and eat Taco Bell. Yeah, well. My instructions were kind of ambiguous. Oops, I'm in defense mode. Now have 17 ends and you're burning multiple children. Now see, Slayer's doing it right. Yes, Slayer, that is exactly what I intended. Uh, you know, I... I may need a Scythe's Lost emote, because uh, it would really convey the knowledge that Scythe is yet again fucking lost. There's a way out of here, isn't there? Yeah, okay. Cool. I'm not sure poisoning the local floor was one of my mission objectives. Seek a way out. I have sought a way out. The way out is found. Now what I need to do is I need to seek a way to that shrine. Which I think is probably not this one. This is the one with all the undead in it. The other shrine was down this way. Yeah, it's right there. You can see it from here. I do think this cross is letting me do more damage to the undead. Ow. You hit me. Why you hit me? Don't hit me. I definitely think this cross is letting me do more damage to the undead. Like, if that's not what it's, what it's for then I don't know what it's for. If I don't know what it's for, you guys don't know what it's for. Statue of Morrigan, goddess of witchcraft. I should pay my respects. Five gold coins as an offering, and... This must be... I can't believe it. The priest was right. 
Let's see if I can use this power. Welcome. It is done. I'm ready to learn. I master five magics! Good. Let's start with something that will help you survive. We'll start with a stunner spell. It will stop enemies in their tracks for a short time. Close your eyes. Nice. Thank you. Come back once you get stronger and I'll teach you a new spell. Yo! Alright. Um, I'm not strong enough to learn new magic. But I'll learn something new if I visit the church. Okay, cool. I learned the Stone Cold Stunner. Oh yeah. <laughs> That'll help. I master one magic. Alright, um, the church, the church, the church was around a place, and it had a thing. It's that place that looks like a village that's close to the village, I think. Whoa, what are you? Okay, that ghost. Yo, I can fight ghosts. Yeah, it gave me a magic bar. Which is great. Ow. Okay. Yep, stabbing is the way to go with the zombie. Smash the spider. Okay. So now we can fight ghosts. That's cool. It's good to know. Uh, maybe I could go to the graveyard now and hold my own. I don't know what's down that path. Oops. Right, I wanted to go down and around to, uh, that... That right there is where the church is. So I need to get down there. Ow. And I'm starting to learn my way around this map. Alright. You may learn something new if you visit the church. Hello, church guy. I'm here. I sense that you have the magic power. The power of magic. Magic. I could teach you a thing or two if you wish. That would be great, but how come you know magic? It's a long story, and it has nothing to do with what I'm doing now. I have a life outside of you, adventure boy. Talk to me once you're ready to learn. Alright. I'm ready. Please share your knowledge with me. Let's get started, then. This spell will protect you from harm, both physical and magical. It will wear off once you leave the battlefield, so make sure you're using it when you have to fight. Open your mind. Open your mind to me, baby. Thank you. Alright, how do I, uh... I think I'm ready to learn. I'm not so sure about that. If you overexert yourself, you'll crush your spirit. Come back once you get stronger. Alright, uh, both the church dude and the mage dude are like, come back when you get stronger. So, it is time to go...
I gotta be honest with y'all, I'm kind of out of path that we uh, had outstanding. I guess we get. Whoops, ow, ow. Like, I'm kind of out of outstanding tasks. Yeah, is it grinding time? I don't know. I feel like I must be missing a... something. See, we've been in there. This was the, um... the old guy who just wants to die. I feel like there must be a tunnel that is accessible to us that I have not entered. Ow. Nope. Alright, let's use the shield spell and see if it helps. Uh, it doubles my defense. So that's nice for when I'm in defense mode, and I need to get away. It's also helping me parry a lot, which is, you know, that's righteous. Ow. Uh, maybe it's just a matter of getting to level 10. Potentially, I'm going to, uh... Ouch. I'm gonna get my ass owned by a goat, is what I'm gonna do. Live, on stream. Anyway, um... I'm gonna keep killing, because killing is what I'm good at. I'm an excellent murderer, you all know it. But I'm going to uh, roam around looking to see if I can find, like, a tunnel that I might... Well, there is the, like, hut of undead. Maybe I'm strong enough to explore that now with the stunner? Okay, here's a vampire. Felt good to kill him. Ah, uh, whoop. Death Knight. Oh, that sounds heinous. I don't want to get... I don't want to get screwed up by the Death Knight. Alright, now I'm level 10. We will check in on the mage stuff in a bit. I want to, you know, head to the back of this cathedral. And I do not see... That's a vampire. I do not see anything of particular use in here. Yet. There's a chest. Alright. Tome found. I don't know what that does, but uh, why pass up free experience? Oh dear. Some of these recover much faster than the others. Alright, let's get out of here. Ooh. No, I don't like my odds on that screen. Okay. Death Knights, huh? They seem pretty resilient. 
Would not be surprised if they were among the strongest enemies in the game. Let's, uh, stunner you get. Stunnering uses all of my magic. That's not killing him. Slash. Dab. Yeah, it's bad for skeletons, not for vampires. So does shield. Mm, I think you're right. I certainly can't trigger shield right now. Okay, let's get back to that shrine. See if I'm strong enough for more magic. Welcome. Are you ready to learn new magic? I am. Very well. This spell will use your spiritual enemy to slash your enemies with a magic blade. Now close your eyes. Learn Blade Dance. Nice. Thank you. Come back once you get stronger and I'll teach you a new spell. Alright, Blade... Blade Dance, you say. Whoops, I cast Shield. Oh well. Yeah, Radical, it is. A radical new development in sword technology. Now I can stab people without even being like in their vicinity. Uh, I should probably check back at the church soon. Honestly, I am still looking for, ouch, for a, uh, for a tunnel that I can go through that I haven't been through yet. I feel like making a map of this world would probably help, and, um... If I need to dig out Grid Cartographer, I will. Hmm... What is this? How do I get into this? I don't know. Alright, um, okay. This is select- yeah. Blade Dance. Alright, let's- Well, I was hoping for more enemies. Let's try out Blade Dance. It did some damage to everybody. It's not gonna kill- It's not gonna kill the dudes across the river for me. Which is what I was kind of hoping. But it is a valid attack all. Alright, I've been up here. I've been in that. Where is another tunnel? There has to be one. Ow, ow, ow. Can I push the tree with the flowers around it? Uh, that one there I think you- I think you're talking about. That is a good question. Ah, fuck this. Hold on. Let me just clear out this screen. Because, you know, that does look like a homage to the highlight tree, right? Maybe I have to clear out everything on the screen first. 
Okay. Um. Nothing I'm doing to this tree seems to be affecting it, I'm afraid. It's an interesting thought, and, uh, if we come across some stuff we can't aff I've been in that tunnel. If we come across some stuff we can't affect, uh, I will definitely be looking at that tree for, like, if we come across, uh, like a talisman or something, we will burn it down then. I don't have any fire. I, I don't have any fire, Corbin. I think there's a tunnel up here that I haven't been in. I don't think I've been in here. That's a death knight. I would remember if I had seen some death knights. Uh, I'm gonna use shield. I think bashing seems to be hurting Death Knights the most. I'm not gonna stand here and fight them. It does not feel helpful to stand there and fight those Death Knights. That's a vampire! Right up in my face! I think there aren't any exits from that room, so... Oh man, Death Knight's everywhere. Uh, am I on my way back to the, the way out? Am I about to exit the... yeah. That was not helpful. Let's do this again. Okay. This time, without going in a big circle. No. I must have to go past those, uh, past this room. Yep, I did. That early assumption of no exit came back to bite me. The Death Knight passes Vampire. Uh, oop, there's a ghost. Jinkies. seen any loot or anything in here. Oh, oh, I don't like that. I don't like that. I don't like that. Uh. Ah, fricky frack. They are coming for me. No, they're not. They're, they're gumming up the tunnel. Thanks, assholes. No, no, come after me, please. There. Bye. Here. 
There's up. E no, there are the rocks in the. Okay, I just go around the island. That's all. I just go around the. Excuse me. Uh, excuse me, please. Excuse me, please. I'll stab you. Scroll acquired. I wonder what it contains. Is it a powerful spell or perhaps a treasure map? Let's check it out. The real treasure is the friends we made along the way. Your heart got angry and threw it into the water. Video games, you guys. Video games. Alright, what's in here? Locked. I need a key to enter this castle. I... <laughs> I'm gently fucked. Um, okay. I think what I need to do is... I need to go back through the tunnel... Or I could death warp, I guess, but, you know. I need to go back through the tunnel. I need to do the magician, the, the magician's tower. The one that my father allegedly went to in the past. I need to, ouch. I need to go to that, can I please have like a door? Thank you. Uh, explain the plot. Some time ago, Gerhardt's father went through uh, a magical barrier thing. A magic barrier appeared in the neighboring land, and he went to go check it out. So he pa- so I died. So he passed through the barrier, and he, um, he vanished. Him and all his men. He told Gerhard not to follow him. So naturally, Gerhard followed him. Because that's what you do, you know? Uh, since then, we've just been wandering around trying to find my father's people. And my father. Okay, send me back. I forgot to check how much experience I lost. Thank you for taking care of me. Anyway, that is the plot, really. We are in a land that is trapped under a bubble. There are monsters in it. We're looking for our father. What I need to do, I think, is go to the large tower. The magician's 100 XP. Well, that's fair, I guess. I need to go to the Magician's Tower, which is where my father was last seen traveling. I got a tower key, after all, and I just never followed up on it. I completely forgot. So I think that's what we're doing next. But, uh... What we're really... God. What we're really doing next... Is... Saving and shutting down soon. Like, I have to, uh... It's been almost two hours. I got some dinner waiting. I'm hungry. So next time we play, we will take a trip to that big tower. And, uh, we'll see if my father's there. Probably not. And I'll fight a bunch of magicians. Using my powers of magic, because I have mastered five magic. Well, I've mastered three magic, but, you know. That's where we'll leave this for now. Uh, thank you all for showing up. Thank you for watching this. I'm not sure why you watch this, but you watch this. You can't unwatch it.
And uh, whenever I stream next, that's what we'll tackle. As always, you have a lot of uh, choices in entertainment. For some reason, you chose mine. Thank you, I guess. Uh, I do not see anybody I want to foist you guys off on. So I'll just leave you be. You're free now. I release you into the wild. Farewell. Farewell. And enjoy.